everybody. It's another edition of Conley's Corner. Hi there. That's Conley. Happy and 2019, everybody. This is a corner. This is my corner. Do you I'm, like it? It's so pretty. I'm hanging out in the corner. You know, maybe someday we'll put someone sitting on this stool, just like lurking back here. We could. Maybe we'll be taking applications for the stool sitter. It'll be a right? real person, not one of them <laughs> ventriloquists, because that's freaky. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, but that's freaky. It is freaky. I agree. You know, don't be offended. Hashtag, we like wood. What? Well, it depends on what wood. Never mind. <laughs> I'm Crackwise Magazine Editor-in-Chief Kathy Vogel. And yes, again, oh boy. this is Mike Conley. And we're always here to share pertinent, fun information with you. And then other things we discover. Because we do our own research I here. do a lot of research. Don't search my browser, <laughs> but I do a lot of research on the internet. The FBI may be searching your browser well, soon. Red flag, this guy over here. So today we're going to talk about emotional maturity. Okay. I mean, we like to have fun, but when it comes to making life decisions and whatnot, you need to have emotional maturity. You do. I suppose you do. So it's the most important thing if you want to have a healthy, ha healthy happy, productive kind of life. So yes. here are some signs that you are emotionally mature. Mm, pip, pip. First of all, you recognize your feelings. Your feelings don't run the show. Okay. Life is not what happens to us. Yeah, I'm going to need us. a corkscrew for this <laughs> before we're done. It's all in how we respond to things in life. That's what okay. it's all about, okay? Another sign of emotional maturity. Recognize and admit that you are biased. Yes, we have innate biases and prejudices. But then when you feel that coming up, you ask yourself, how can I stop it? And then you stop it, and then you don't act upon those biases. Oh, how can I stop it? That's how I feel when I need to throw up. How can I stop it? <laughs> <laughs> so in conversation, you might go, and yeah. that's Conley's verbal throw up? That is my effort to hold down my bias, apparently. Oh, oh bio. I'm oh, sorry. Whatever. Wrong. I had to it wrong. starts with a B. We're confused. Yeah. Thing, and letters. also, you're emotionally mature. When you can admit that you're wrong, yes, it's difficult. It's very Say difficult. You're wrong. I'm getting better at that. <laughs> it's easy to blame other apparently people. Apparently, I'm <laughs> wronger than ever. <laughs> wronger than ever. <laughs> but to admit that you're wrong takes humility and courage, and that means you're and mature. And captain. Uh, yeah, liquid courage does help too. <laughs> but of course, there are some signs that you are not emotionally mature. I'm just looking oh, at you because you're sitting for here. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Here's, in my, we're all based on relationships, uh, the research okay, that I did. Okay. And it is, fellas, it's us. I mean, it isn't always our fault, but we're saying it's our fault because by the end of the conversation, it's going to be our yeah, fault. Yeah, and you want to live. So. Exactly. When you're in a heated debate with your significant <laughs> other, and the best you can come up with is says you, <laughs> nah, -uh, or the ever popular, blah, 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 you are not emotionally mature. No. Excuse no. me. At all. <laughs> Second, if she invites you to spend the evening at her place. Okay. And the first thing you want to do is grab all the sheets and make a fort in the living room and she can't come in because it's no girls allowed. <sighs> you are not very emotionally <laughs> mature. Excuse me. Yeah, and you're not getting what you were intending to get. Uh, yeah, you are. You're getting a fort. <laughs> what do you mean you're not getting what you get? Oh, and she's got like a couch if that's her cushions, those bigger walls. It's okay, moving on. Finally. Yes. If your relationship uh -huh. moves into the intimate level Ooh. and the clothes start to fall away. Pow. And it's the first time, gentlemen, yeah. you see her in the nude. And you start giggling and say, milk, milk, lemonade. This is not where you should be emotionally. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now you've ruined. Didn't see that coming, no, did you? No, you've ruined milk and lemonade for me forever because I'll be thinking that little limerick. Oh, I don't know if I want to be a part of that. Yeah. And immature boys. <laughs> Okay, well, yes, I hope that you've learned something thanks to us and Mr. Conley. And, I'm, I'm uh, here to help. Stick around for the next episode. Don't forget to look at the rest of the page for the drink recipe of the week. You're going to need it. Please don't be milk or lemonade. Yeah. And where are you going to be performing live? I'll be next at Comedy with the Cops 16 at the Akron FOP Lodge on Lay Drive. 
find me on Facebook. There is an events page. Awesome. Thanks, everybody.